Hey everyone, Kachi Investor back to another video for today and back with another earnings report for this quarter. I believe this is the last one. This is about Adobe. So they beat on earnings per share and revenue estimates. They say here the company achieves record Q1 net new digital media ARR of $464 million and they delivered EPS growth exceeding 20% year over year. Now I'll start with two comments here, one from the CEO, then from the CFO. So he says, we are unleashing a new era of AI enhanced creativity around the world with innovations across our product portfolio. The recent launches of Firefly, Express, Creative Cloud and Gen Studio make Adobe Magic available to millions of users. More on that later on. Adobe delivered world-class margins and earnings in Q3 while making some significant investments in our technology platforms. Our innovation engine, global reach, and strong operation rigor position us to capture the massive opportunities ahead. And so, Adobe achieved revenue of $4.89 billion in the quarter, beating the expected number of $4.87 billion. That also represents a 10% year-over-year growth, or 13% on a constant currency basis. Diluted earnings per share was $3.05 on a GAAP basis and on a non-GAAP basis, $4.09, beating the expectations of $3.98. Cash flow from operations were $1.87 billion. RPO or remaining performance obligations exiting the quarter were $15.72 billion. They also repurchased approximately 2.1 million shares during the quarter. Now, with regards to share repurchasing, of course, we have to talk about this right here. This is on Coifin. If you want to try it out, link is down in the description. You'll help me and you can help yourself as well with 20% off. As you can see in the last 10 years, shares are standing for Adobe has come down tremendously. And so free cash flow per share has also increased quite nicely throughout the years. If we look at EPS estimates for the five year growth rates in the next 12 months, it sits now at 15.76%. It's not the cheapest of the stocks out there with a market cap of $251 billion and a Ford PE of 33.2%. But hey, when you're growing EPS now 20% year over year, and here the estimated five-year growth rate is 15.76%, I mean, for a company like this, maybe that's the price to pay. Now, with regards to margin, so operating margin was 46.24%, gross margin 88.12%, net margin 38.43%, Net income was $1.88 billion and operating income of $2.26 billion. So yes, very impressive margins. Now, if we do have a look at Adobe stock today, well, with certain metrics here in the next 12 months, compared to the mean the last 10 years, we can see that for PE, we are a bit cheaper than the mean. For EV to EBITDA, we're a bit more expensive, price to sales a bit more expensive, and then price to free cash flow, but that's in the last 12 months we are a bit below. So I would say we are right at the mean right now. Now, jumping into the next segments here. First up, Adobe Firefly. If you haven't tried it out, what are you doing with yourself? It's extremely fun. I mean, they say it here as well. An unprecedented beta saw 2 billion images generated. Adobe Firefly models and the Firefly web application are now commercially available. The Adobe Firefly powered features are now natively integrated into several Creative Cloud apps, including Generative Fill, Generative Expand in Photoshop, Generative Recolor in Illustrator, and Text to Image and Text Effect in Adobe Express. Now, talking about Adobe Creative Cloud, these are the numbers for that segment of the business. So, creative revenue was $2.91 billion in that quarter. They say here that the integration of Firefly into Photoshop and Illustrator downloaded by over 3 million users. With regards to Adobe Document Cloud, the revenue there was $685 million. And the last one here, Adobe Experience Cloud, revenue there was $1.23 billion with subscription revenue of $1.1 billion for that quarter. They saw strong momentum across AEP and native apps with total book of business surpassing $600 million and Adobe Journey Optimizer Book of Business more than doubling year over year. 
Now, with regards to where the revenue is coming from, 60% from Americas, 25% from EMAE, and 15% from Asia. As for Q4 guidance, total Adobe revenue of $4.97 billion to just over $5 billion. The estimates were $5 billion. When it comes to non-GAAP earnings per share, they expect a number between $4.1 and $4.15. The expectations were $4.06. And so looking at the graph right now, after hours, the stock is down close to 1% or so, not a big move after hours. I mean, the stock currently on a weekly basis here is a bit overbought, of course, after that small drop that we're seeing right now, could be a much bigger one on Friday, of course. We are probably going to leave the overbought zone here, but still, stay on the lookout for maybe a much better dip and much better entry opportunity. So to conclude, to be honest, a good quarter by Adobe. Of course, you'll hear some people say these numbers were not good enough to justify the current valuation. But hey, in my opinion, if you're looking to open a position, if you're looking to add to your existing position, yes, I would say wait for maybe a big red day in the market or just for Adobe specifically because yes, valuation, it is a bit rich right now as we've seen with the stock itself, it's a bit overbought but overall you're going to buy an incredibly good business that is growing that is buying back shares and so increasing shareholder value along the way so that will be it for this video of course do share your thoughts down in the comments below if you enjoy this type of videos leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not and i see you all in the next one bye bye